Let's take a look at how to get the Quake HD pack to work. This is my first time doing this, so maybe we can follow along together and hopefully I won't screw anything up too bad. Uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is download the pack from ModDB's got the link. Um, this Google Drive link is the one that you want right here. So there's two files. There's a 1.44 and a 1.45 patch. I've already downloaded them and unzipped them. I believe what you do is take the 1.45 patch, copy the files, and then paste them inside the 1.44 folder. There we go. Uh, there is a couple of README files in here with instructions, which is what I'm going to be using to get started here. Um, let's see how it goes. So you're going to need a copy of Quake. Uh, I have a physical copy somewhere, but the, uh, the Steam version is the one that I'm going to be putting this mod on at the moment. What you're going to want to do is find Quake in your game library, uh, right-click it, and then uh, hit the Properties, and go to Local Files, and hit this Browse Local Files button. Uh, that's going to bring up your folder. Now you got to find a couple of pack files, and you're going to look in this ID1 directory right here. Uh, there's pack0 and pack1. What you're going to do is copy those two files and paste them in this vizpatch directory it's ID1. So vizpatch and then ID1. You're going to paste those there. Next you're going to execute one of these vizpatch uh, files. Since I have Windows 64-bit, I'm going to use the 64 EXE. If you have a 32-bit Windows, you're going to want to do this 32-bit. Um, it didn't tell me to do this, but I'm going to run this as administrator just in case. Next, you're going to take these two files, uh, make another copy of the patched files. You're going to go back a couple, and then this Quake HD pack folder. We're going to open that. And there's another ID1 folder. We're going to open that. And you're going to paste those files in that folder. I hit back once and there's an exe file here called Dark Places SDL. We're going to run that now and see if it worked. Looks like it works. Not to set up for any kind of mouse controls, so I may not be able to play it. Oh yeah, I guess they've got it pre-set up. That's cool. Interesting music's in there. Uh, I must have added that into weird.
That's it. Game looks great. Everything worked. Let's get out of here. All right, thanks for watching. I hope that was helpful. Uh, if you like what we're doing, uh, like, subscribe, go check us out on Facebook. We got a very vibrant group there. Um, have a good day.